The best way to clean your spark plug is just get a little bit of sandpaper like this, just tear it a little bit off, fold it over, and get it between that little gap there. You can see that gap there. Just get the sandpaper. I can't really do this with uh, one hand. Just get it in between there. I'll just put it in there to show you what I mean. The slit in this one is a bit too small for two pieces of sandpaper, so just do it one side first. So get the sandpaper in there, and then just move it like so. Um, it's a bit hard to do one-handed, but you get the idea. So sand both sides until they're nice and shiny, because you know metal on metal is better. If it has a layer of oil on it, it's going to be hard to spark it. It won't, you know, it won't be able to um, spark. So. Get all that crappy oil off it, and then it should spark. And you might save yourself a couple of bucks because you don't have to buy a new spark plug. It's actually working fine, it's just because it's got a layer of oil on it. It's not working. Okay, so I just um, clean up with a bit of sandpaper, clean out the outside with a bit of a, a wire brush, and then wish it around in some fuel just to get out all the dirt and stuff. So now I'm going to hook it up back up to the HD lead. Lay it on the cylinder and give it a crank over and see if it sparks. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to plug our spark plug into the HT lead again. Lay it on the head like so because it needs to earth. This is basically a positive and it earths onto there. That's why the spark jumps. It needs to, it wants to go to earth. It wants to go home basically. So we're going to lay it on the head so it's earth. Make sure your kill switch is off and uh, then we'll crank it over and make sure it sparks. Alrighty, we just lay it on there like so. So lay it on there. You want to make sure it's earthed and then make sure your kill switch is off. Uh, hopefully, I can get a good, nice camera angle for you guys. I want to make it so you can see it but hopefully you guys can see the nice blue spark now it has to be blue um, if your spark is a ready color um, it, it won't work uh, it means you need to have if you have points in your the system you need to clean the points uh, it might either be your magneto to flywheel gap is too big but So that's sparking nice, so I know that's all good. So I'll take that out now, pump it back in. I might give it a few cranks over just to get that nice oil that's in there, you can see there, out of the cylinder. See there's a little oil. So I'm definitely running too high of a, or too low of a ratio. And, um, and then I'll chuck it back in there and try to get it started. Don't do your spark plug up too tight. Just, just tight. Not too tight. You strip it. It's only aluminium in here, so if you do it too tight, you strip it out, and that's basically the end. You can say goodbye to that one, and you'll need to get it either a new, new engine, or just a new head. So um. So that's gone. So it just needed a. Uh, it was it was flooded. So basically, I just cleaned the spark plug because it had oil over it. Cleaned out the cylinder by just taking out the spark plug and giving it a few hard pulls. And now it's gone again. Now this one is tuned, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to detune it and then tune it again. So I can just show you guys how to tune it. So enjoy. Okay, so I've just removed the um, carburetor cover, whatever, air filter cover, whatever you want to call it. 
Now this has an air filter element in it, which just fell out. And um, if your engines are running and this is dirty, then that's probably what you want to look at. Now, if your engine isn't running before you start messing around with carburetor adjustments and stuff, because if you don't know what you're doing, you can screw it up more. But um, the first thing you want to look at is fuel and spark. Now, to run, an engine needs fuel, spark, and air. So if you don't have any of those, that can be your reason. So the first thing to check, the easiest thing to check is spark. If it's sparking, great. If it's not, you either need to clean your points or you need to check your magneto to flywheel gap or your magneto is broken, your kill switch is on, your kill switch is shorting out somewhere. There's many different factors. I'm not going to get too in de detailed in that because I can make a video on, on, on its own with that thing. Um, next, if it's still not working and your spark is fine, you can check the fuel. To do that, you put fuel in a cylinder, start it up, and if it does start, it means it's not getting fuel. If it's not getting fuel, it could mean a broken fuel line, um, fuel line isn't connected, there's no fuel in the tank, the filter is blocked, or the carburetor. So once you check all that, all the, the filters and the lines and everything, and they're all fine, um, you can take the line off at the carburetor and see if there's actually getting fuel through. Um, you can do that by sticking a primer bulb onto the end and then pushing, because primer bulb sucks the fuel through, so it'll suck the fuel through the line. Then it means that you have a blocked jet if everything else is fine. Now I have a video on how to clean the carburetor, so watch that if that is your problem. You also want to clean your air filter, like I said, because it needs air to run. When no air, you can't, it won't run. Um, it's just like putting the choke on. If you put a choke on a hot engine, it won't run. Um, even when the choke is on, it's still getting air. You can see there's a hole in there. You need air in an engine. It won't run. It won't explode the fuel with no air. So, if your air filter is dirty, that could be a cause. So, again, things to check. Fuel, air, spark. Alright, now, if your fuel's fine, your spark is fine, um, your air filter's fine, it could be your tuning. Now, with tuning, generally, your engine will still smart, uh, start, but it'll bog out. As soon as you throttle, bar or something like that. Um, also, if it is bogging out, it could be your muffler or your air filter. So run your engine without the air filter cover on, and if it runs fine, your air filter is dirty. If it's, if it's still cr running crap, take the muffler off and run it. If it's running fine with the muffler, if it's running fine with the muffler off, your muffler is dirty. So you need to clean that out. Um, it has carbon deposits in it, so you'll just need to clean it out. You can clean it out in like soapy water or something like that. Um, or you can clean them out with an air compressor. So just get an air compressor. Um, I've cut the end of this one for a different project. But get an air compressor and blow it through. So if all of that is fine, and your engine is still bogging out, you can move to tuning. So this is how to tune your engine. On your carburetor, if you look down here, now on some um, cars it might be different, I mean different places, but they'll be there. There will be two screws, well there will be three screws. Now this one down here, which is mounted on your throttle butterfly, is your idle screw. So you, you turn that one in, your idle will be set higher. Um, if it won't idle, you can turn that one in and it'll idle higher. If you turn it out, it idles less. Now these ones here is your high and lows. They'll have a little H and a little L on them to tell which one's which. So if your engine's running like crap, what you first want to do is turn both of them all the way in and then two turns out. So we'll just do that now. <laughs> 